Hello everyone, my name is Fangs, and welcome back to Call of the Lamb. We're preaching our morning sermon, more like the evening sermon since it's about to come nighttime. So in the last video, we managed to kill another of the gods, so we now have another heart of a heretic. Let's go ahead and get Omnipresence. That way we can just ditch runs if we don't like them, because it's very useful. We're also going to need to pick up one new follower because we're down a follower and that doesn't really work for me. So it just finally turned nighttime, and uh, now I can't open the door without making everyone upset. So we'll wait a few minutes. I guess I could collect the stone while I wait. There should be quite a bit here. So about 45 in each. I don't know how much of a profit that was. Okay, actually that was a pretty big profit because it only cost eight to make. Um, so yeah, not bad. We'll just uh, we'll keep like two of those up at all times, I guess. I don't know. While we're waiting through the night, we can go ahead and hand over a crab, lobster, and everything else that this guy wants, because that should give us a piece of the... Oh boy, the game just bugged out. Uh, yeah, sometimes the game is still breaking. There's still major bugs like this that break the game and cause you to have to restart your game. Um, so I'll be right back real quick. The moment I stopped recording, the absolute moment I stopped recording, the crab was collected. <laughs> All right, there we go. One piece of a talisman or whatever this is called. So I think for every fish we give him, we'll get one of these. So we can just go ahead and give him another one. Lobster, very good. Here's a bit of treasure. Yep, so we'll get a complete one from doing this. And naturally, I waited to do this until we had the fishing spell. Then I came over here and fished for a few days. And uh, we just instantly get to do all this. I just hadn't turned it in yet. And final reward, here's the squid. Caught it maybe 50 years ago. This guy's been fishing for a long time. And there we go, another talisman completed. Also, for anyone who uh, has not noticed, this man's mouth is on the top of his head. I didn't notice that for the longest time until someone pointed it out, and now it just bothers me. Since we got our evening sermon out of the way, let's go ahead and get the morning sermon out of the way. Get some extra help here. I don't think we'll get another level yet. We'll just be just shy. Oh no, we will. Sweet. Okay, so we're gonna immediately just go for stronger weapons because it's the final upgrade and better weapons are always better. Naturally, we'll also spend one of the talismans and I think we're gonna go with grabbing the the white fleece. Yeah, the white fleece is great for speed running. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab that real quick. I'm also immediately going to take it off because I like the blue one. And with that, before someone dies, let's go ahead and open up this door here because it takes 12 followers. Hooray! Now we've unlocked the spider's lair. So as usual, we have to do four runs of this before we get to fight Shimura. And um, this is a lot of spiders. Start off with getting a lecture from Shimura. He waits by the rocks of the darkened sea at the foot of a long sudden drop. Within the maw of pointed teeth beasts, the stutter of the heart then stopped. He was the fifth, the fifth bishop of the old faith, our brother, the one who waits. Back then, he was known by the name Narinder. Narinder? Narinder? I don't care. But as millennia wore on, he grew discontent with his role. He began to question. He was glutinous in his ambition. And in my imprudence, I loved him. For it, I lost my mind. For it, he lost his freedom. Can you fathom such betrayal, lamb? Of your own turned against you. Would you like to find out? He was the fifth, the fifth bishop of the old faith. Our brother, the one who waits. Wait, did it just repeat? Leader, I'm sorry. Ah, uh, hey, don't you, don't you dare start dissenting. Oh, no! I have to kill Varfar or Valefar. No, you were my favorite. No. I wonder if it picked like your first follower because I think that was actually my very first follower. I'm pretty sure Valefar was the very first follower I got. Or like, if he wasn't the first, he was like the second. Hopefully, I can resurrect him later. Who wants to get stabbed? Oh no! They come! They're dropping from the ceilings. Oh, I didn't. How did that hit me? I didn't think that would. I guess like when they jump, they hit behind them. Ooh, curse attack damage by 1.5. That's actually pretty good. I think I want to buy. Unironically, I want to buy an offering. I'm, I have plenty of money now. Oh, don't you glitch out. Okay. Ooh. 
Okay, we already got a curse buff, so we might as well take this other one, especially since it's a plus card. I'm getting really lucky with those, actually. Oh, that's actually a pretty good curse in the sense that it spawns uh, the little ghosts to go out and attack them. I want to get these spirit guys early on since they uh, like to heal and summon more enemies. Um, Wait, what? What? Uh, wait, wrong button. What? So I have a poison dagger. Uh, if that was a poison axe, I would take it, but I'm gonna just keep what I have. Oh, this curse is really good. Ooh, we're gonna get a card. It's a rainbow card. Oh, it had to be movement speed. I mean, two times movement speed is awesome, but when I saw the rainbow card, I was hoping for damn it. Oh, we, we are going super fast. <laughs> Oh man, I I've never seen a character move this fast in this game. This is so hard. This is actually hard to control. I'm not used to being able to go this fast. <laughs> like I, I literally can run a lap around this room. It, it's hilarious how fast I'm moving. A little bit difficult to uh, deal with though. I will I will say it's like it's very weird considering normally you're a certain speed being a lot fast like being twice as fast like i've had 1.5 before or 1.2 and it doesn't really make that big of a difference but having two times is huge if you got like a rainbow card of that where you had three times the movement speed that would be incredible that'd be super fast i'm really sad that i can't just like continue the run and just keep going forever with this build like i'm sad that when you haven't killed the boss officially you can only go one run at a time because i would love to go for as long as i can with this another another card another plus card what is going on that's incredible we've got four plus cards i think right like every card we've taken has been a plus card or higher fogalore fogalore i didn't read it fogalore <laughs> Ow. Oh, wow. We just did a ton of damage there. We've also got... Oh, ow. We've also got so much Fervor being generated that we can just sit here and spam our weapon. We could actually spam curses this run. That was really cool. <laughs> that was an awesome run. Oh, I'm so sad that that run is over. That's that's actually sad. Goodbye, super speed. Since we had to kill Veilfar, let's go ahead and bring him back. If we can. I'm assuming we can. Yeah, Veilfar. There he is. Age 71. You're gonna come back and be like age 30. Welcome back, Veilfar, even though you attempted to murder me. Well, we've got a hammer for this run. That's not the best. If we could get some attack speed, it would be perfect. Oh, there's a spiked centipede. Well, it's dead at least. Come one, come all to the Palace of Wonder and Delight, where all that glimmers is gold, guaranteed. Midas's cave is open seven days. Oh, we unlocked a new, um... A new, like, safe zone, whatever you call these. Attack rate increased by 1.25%. That's exactly what I wanted to see. The blame hangs heavy around my neck. I introduced him to the ideas of change, for my domain is knowledge and it is ever evolving. An organic state of being for myself, but for him, most unnatural, death cannot flow backward. It was I who had him chained, forced into subjugation by the four of us. Subjugated as you too soon shall be. Make peace. Bow to me, lamb. Refuse. A lion in the guise of a lamb. I expected no less from a vessel of the red crown. Very well. War is also my domain. I would be curious if you bowed there if um, if you wouldn't have to fight anything. Probably still have to fight stuff anyway. Oh, that far. Oh, whoa. You're not supposed to do that. Okay, maybe I'm going to be happy that I had the hammer for this fight because this guy is extremely slow and I can just wham on him. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. That's the camera angle's weird. Intense focus, this hurts. Just wham on him. Clearly we can kill him before he kills us if we just tunnel vision him. <laughs> that was, that was rough. That got very intense there. Have you thought of what awaits you once you complete your task? What is to become of you? The lamb is after all the sacrificial beast bred to slaughter. If I cannot stop you, then I can at least prepare you for the suffering to come. No, not tortoise. No, I've had to kill both of my favorites. Wow, my followers are kind of strong. I'm not going to lie. 
Unfortunate. Shroomy, what are you looking at? Hmm, that's right, you crown bearers are all the same. Nothing without your adoring followers. Rata wasn't like that. He stayed true to himself. You'll never live up to him. Get out of my way. I've got knuckle bones and money to win. Come and play me if you want a real challenge. Ho <laughs> ho I'll destroy you. Maybe we should do that after this. Uh, maybe we should go uh, do some of that stuff up there once we finish this run. And Scorpion Boss dead. And I'm on half a heart, so that's good. Let's go ahead and take a quick detour and play everybody in Rattle Bones. Everyone's surprised I was able to make it here. All right, so we need to defeat everyone. I specifically waited until everyone was here. Now we can just play each person and absolutely roll them. So let's go ahead and play a game. I've got it, I remember how to do it. So basically, Rata will go first. He's gonna get a four, which means we need to get a five. Bam, we're already winning. He's gonna get a six, so if we could get a six. Oh, we did, so we're gonna go ahead and destroy his six. Because if you play the same dice in the same column, it'll destroy it, and if you put two of the same, it'll double it, so bam. <laughs> oh, well, that's that's very unfortunate. What, why, he, why is he getting sixes? This isn't fair. All right, so we're gonna play our six here. That'll get rid of his six, and um, hopefully, we just stay lucky. He needs to not get a six and not play it on the end column. If he plays it on the end column, we lose it, which is going to be painful. I'm going to just play Gambit and hope he doesn't get a six and destroy my numbers there because that puts me in the grand lead. All right. He only has one more chance to destroy me, so I'm going to hope that doesn't happen. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. He just won the game. Or did he? He did. What? What is going on? Why? This is the easiest mode. He's never been this good before. So basically, this is a game of chance. You are basically just hoping the game gives you good dice, and if it doesn't, you're kind of in trouble. If your opponent rolls really good rolls every single time, you're going to lose. I'm also just now realizing there really isn't that much for me to commentate on during uh, this game, so I'm not exactly sure how to include this in a video. <laughs> Dude, what what is my luck right now? What is going on? I've rolled I've rolled four twos and he, he's rolled like five high. I got a one. No, I. Oh wait, I won. Okay, well that's fine. He he literally was getting so many uh, better numbers than me though. By the one below, you're a natural. I know I am. I'm a cheater somehow. So I think what we'll do is just include the victory play. I'll include my final move combined with the earning from them for the video. And yeah, we'll just snip the rest. And this will be my winning play. There we go. 55 to 15. What? I suppose you better take this. All right. What card do we unlock now? It is immune to poison. That's not that bad. Clunko and Bop. Let's go. I think I was losing because Rata rolls first. I think that was honestly the problem. Oh, or not. Oh, I... What is this RNG? <laughs> All right, even though things look bad, we're not bad. This guy has rolled five or three. This guy has rolled four fives and I've rolled four threes. This is my life. Okay, well, we're safe and we just won, so that's fine. Keep rolling those fives. So what tarot card do we get from him? It is receive five fervor when hit. And Shroomy, the undefeatable champion, Shroomy. You play that corner, huh? I'll play this corner. All right, well, I could, you know, get lucky and also get something higher than a two. What is that? He gets a six and I get two twos. Oh wait, I should have played, the dang, I just messed up. I should have played that on the far row. Aha, get rolled. Oh, no. <laughs> no. Yeah, we'll take that. What? Your RNG is exceptional, but mine is also. Do you, you, okay, fair play. But I play that, huh? Okay, well, I'm gonna destroy that. <laughs> no, he got a six, no way. But I can destroy two. <laughs> oh, this is just like a trade-off right now. Oh, right back trade. No, he destroyed my three. I destroy your four. 
Oh. Okay, well, that just was a big comeback for you. Duh, this isn't fair. This is not fair. No. Yeah, take this. What is your luck? Why are you so lucky? Oh, this guy is so lucky. Actual exceptional luck. I'm gonna risk it and put these here because I need the gain. And this should win. Woo, okay, that one was a close game, actually. 58 to 44. You got lucky. Take this. Now rematch or are you a coward? Yeah, I'm gonna take this and leave. I only need to beat you. All right, so another Fervor uh, tarot card. All right, well, back to killing a god. So for our final run, let's go ahead and convert a couple of our cultists into little buffs. So we get to have two of them right now. I'm thinking, let's go ahead and grab Tiger. We need a Tiger leveled up because he's the very first uh, d straight damage one that I've seen. And he is now converted into a demon, and we're also going to take Torty, because I want more explosive damage, because he will explode around enemies. There we go. Oh, this guy's 100% off. I'll take him. Oh, he's old. Well, you're useless. All right, Shimura is waiting for us right at the beginning. Five becomes, becomes nothing. Nothing at all. The duty I owe to my brethren cannot be shirked. My temple awaits. All right, well, I'll be there in a few minutes. Just have to kill your entire legion, essentially, with my two trusty villagers behind me. We're gonna get a zealous... Oh, yeah, we're gonna get a zealous dagger and then also the maelstrom, which was originally my favorite curse, but I've kind of started to like the ghost curses more. Oh, I don't know how I didn't get hit there, but I'm glad. And rolling into an enemy will damage them. Okay, it's not a lot of damage, but it is a little bit of damage. Okay, it's actually kind of useful. <laughs> we can just infinitely dodge and deal minute amounts of damage. Okay, so we either get 30% more damage at night or... Uh, I mean, that's the better option here. We can wait till nighttime to take the boss fight if we need to. Oh, attack rate increased by 1.25%. That's great. I really need to get a better curse if I can. All right, only two remain. One more down. Oh, there he comes out of the sky, and he's dead. All right, so we've already got the card room, so probably just a weapon room and a lot of enemies. Oh, hey, Shimura. I envy you not. While you may yet kill me, I still would not trade places. It is time to draw this ugly business to a close. He waits at the point of the sharpened blade, the faith that can be or cannot be outrun. He waits in the eye of the raging storm at the end of a long day done. This guy talks in a lot of riddles. No, he's calling his friends to fight me. You didn't have to do that, Shimura. You could have just let me fight you. Instead of bringing all your friends to fight me. But do the shooty shooty and lower my health for when I get to you. Another free villager. Uh, why do I always change what I call everyone? I go between like calling them cultists, villagers, followers. I constantly am changing what I call everything. And we're gonna roll through him. Wait, the chest had spawned and the egg had stayed. I wonder if we could have got enemies there with the chest having spawned and enemies. Like, that was interesting. That was a cool bug. And, ooh, we do actually get a better curse. I'm gonna take that. Well, we didn't get a tarot card in this room, so that was unfortunate. Hopefully this one makes up for it. It's not going to. No, go back into your hive, spider. Oh no, uh, get the hive down. Hive destroyed. Oh no, I don't think I killed them all. Oh, I don't know if that hit me or not. I couldn't tell, but uh, that room was easy enough. Wait, why does he drop goo at his feet? Stop doing that. Oh. Oh, I see how that... I've never really paid attention to how the poison works, so you can stand in it for quite a while before it becomes a threat. And... Ooh, wait. Should I take the sword? Maybe I should. Let's see. Actually, yeah, I think I'm gonna take the sword. All right, the final road to Shimura. He of havoc, he of blight. She of hunger, they of might. And the five becomes four of death and blah, blah, blah. Now, I assume you're gonna become like a gigantic spider overlord. Yeah, okay, that's pretty close. Basically like a Dark Souls boss.
Okay, I mean... Ooh. No! I got hit there. I was wondering if we could do a hitless run, but, um... Yeah, unfortunate. Oh, wait, now I can't damage. Oh, yeah, I can. I thought I couldn't damage him for a second. No! And that was very easy. Okay, well, I'll take that. And that is Shimura dead. So that means only one god remains. As there were five gods. Shimura trophy. Oh, and we get to have like a final meeting probably. The one who ate Shimura was weak, not wise. Their vision was far too small to contain the multitudes of one such as I. The time has come to free me. You shall have the honor of returning the red crown to its true bearer. I admit, you have worn it almost as well as I could have myself. Your appetite for death is something I can admire, Vessel, but the crown is mine, and none, none are worthy. None other than I. You shall lay down your life and return to me what is mine. After millennia, all may bask in my glory once more. But it cannot be done here. The final gate awaits. Hurry now. Time is at hand. And with that, guys, I think that'll be the end of the video. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next one, where we will probably destroy the fifth god or something. I don't know. So with that, I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care and have a good one.